You may be expecting someone to introduce me, but I'm not like all the other guys. So, let me introduce myself. I'm Narco, top one player in the world for several seasons, and I'm risking my life teaching you how to become a pro player in a matter of days, giving you the most valuable tips and tricks you'll ever find. Sit down, relax, and enjoy. I've just bought my Mercedes Maybach last generation and wanted to flex it to absolutely nobody. But on my way to absolutely nowhere, someone absolutely started shooting at me. That got me absolutely angry because the car is absolutely new. But since I have hmm, absolutely nothing better to do, I thought that they may need to learn a lesson you absolutely don't have to mess with Season 1 Ghost driving his absolutely brand new car. Car parked, keys in my pocket, and this roof will be my new home for the next few minutes. Call that a yoink if you want. I call it an absolute inevitable tragedy. Hello neighbour, can you catch this tennis ball? And if you do, hold it for a few seconds. Neighbour, another tennis ball. Incoming! See if you die this time. I wish I had that luck to see a grenade beside me and to walk out alive. Right, I don't have a clear vision on how many are alive, therefore I won't take any step towards aggression. Yet. I would rather prefer them to push me and use the roof as an advantage and cover at the same time. He wants to throw me back the tennis balls. No, my friends, you can keep them. You have a little pin. If you pull that out, I'll show you a magic trick after 10 seconds. You little son of a something. Don't you worry. Make a little mistake and I'll show you the heaven. It was at this moment that he knew he f up. I'm taking distance now, because as I've said, I don't know how many there are. And if there was a full squad and the rest of them decide to rush me, it won't be a happy ending for me. I would like to believe that the one I have just took out is part of the same squad, but there was a drone being used on someone, and that means a third party player just came in. Must be careful. Watching the sky, 
If they communicate with each other and the tennis ball guy got revived, he can easily see me, jump on me, and help them attempt to make me disappear. He throws the smoke. He probably doesn't have much time before his teammate dies. This is a good opportunity for me to rush and catch him climbing the window. Even if he reacts, I'm still a split of a second faster than him. In the worst case scenario, I can use the same smoke for cover. If you were this guy, what would you do in this situation? Would you help your friend or would you rather let him die? Let me know in the comments. Type A if you would help your teammate or type B if you would let him die. At the end, I will explain which is the best option in this case scenario. Go ahead. B is the right answer. You can't go and rescue your teammate if that thing will put you in danger and you're both gonna die. In this absolute case, this guy still has to climb that window, which will slow him down a little bit for any action he may wanna take. Even if he changes his mind and decides to attack me, it will be too late. In similar situations, you have to eliminate the threat, then you can rescue your teammates or scan the tags. And if there's no more revival flights, at least you still have a chance to win, even by yourself. That's why it's always good to train in solo squads. You never know when you need to fight alone. At the end, the tennis ball guy decided to land and rush me with the pistol. To be honest, I would have done the same. Think with me, I'm coming back from the revival flight and there's a sexy guy who just knocked down two of my teammates. It's not possible that both my teammates didn't damage that sexy boy at all. So assuming that they did damage him a little bit and he didn't have time to heal, I should be good if I land on him to shoot him a couple of times, and job done. This would work most of the time, to be honest, but not in this case. Not only did they not damage me, but I could also see him coming back from the revival flight due to the fact that I'm always checking my back. Remember my last video when I've told you about this? Well, I hope it's stuck into your brain. Surprisingly, this isn't the last one. Jesus, these people, they multiply faster than cockroaches. Next time, think twice before scratching my car. Now there are enemies in here and enemies in here shooting at each other. From time to time, they send me a few bullets as well, but that's fine. They are not focused on me. For now, just bear in mind where the enemies are. I'm choosing to eliminate first those people who hold the high ground for obvious reasons. It's always an advantage to have the highest ground. Got one down, and so far I can only see two players. I'll get closer to see if I can find some more.
checking the house. No more footsteps around. Okay, so if there were two players and I got one knocked, the other one is probably reviving him. There they are. Now, you may ask yourself, how did I know the second guy was around this corner, given the fact that I've slid already, changing weapons and ready to shoot? Because this is the only place he could be unless he wanted to be dead. He couldn't run that way after healing his teammate because the other guys would shoot him. At least that's what I would have done as well if I were him. So, having that on my head, I already know that he must be around this corner, or he was in here just a second ago. You don't always need to see something to react to it. You can also imagine what would happen and wait for it to happen. Funny how the story repeats itself. Just the other video I gave you a tip on this exact place. I've managed to crack his vest. Now, keep that in mind because it's important. Here's the guy whose vest I cracked. Here is his teammate. My main focus will be on the guy that's cracked. Why? Because that guy needs a few bullets and it's done. Or else, if I fight his partner that uses ninja, he may stop healing and help the ninja guy to finish me. I know the ninja lover is after me, so I will be as quick as possible to make sure he has my full attention. You see, easy mathematics. Now, I'll use my ninja to get some distance and finish his teammate when he comes. Ah, I love my life. You guys just made it too easy. Same mistake as the other guy. But hold on, that's not all. I have another example. Watch this. Airdrop incoming.
You know that moment when you fly around with your squad in the helicopter, and you see a poor guy lost and alone in this world, running clueless in zigzag, not knowing which direction to take. And you think to yourself, hmm, poor guy, we will eat him alive. But as soon as you jump off the helicopter, an entire army come out God knows from where. Well, this is the case. But don't worry, I managed to take them out. All of them. And when I thought it was over, surprise. Nah, I'm not in a rush. You guys can shoot as much as you want. I'm gonna heal myself and watch some Netflix. Let me know when you're done. Cluster grenade. My first thought is to turn around and run. But if you give it a second, one second is all you need to realize that the cluster grenade is stuck on the other side of the fence. I'm not in danger, so I'm gonna keep watching my Netflix until one of them makes a wrong move. A wrong move is all I need. There he comes. Go! By this time, I can see there are only three players. One is knocked down and the second one is going to revive him. The third one is kept busy by my teammate. They send love to each other in shape of bullets so I won't get in between. Let them do their thing. He is so in love with him. That's so cute. But enough is enough. Job done. Two players in the safe zone is pushing towards me a little bit. It's not a smart move to rush them, given the fact that my enemies have high ground. And on top of that, between me and them is nothing but open space. So I can't help but do nothing until the safe starts to collapse. Airdrop incoming. Sniper on my right as well. I know he's behind the tree. Obviously, he's not rushing me for the same reason. They're getting smart nowadays. I wonder whose fault it is. Sniper just changed position, but it's still a danger. Oh great, he's a sniper as well.
time to go. That one looks like a shotgun on his hands. It's now or never. Me or him. This time it was me. Maybe next time will be him. With shotguns, you never know. Now, the sniper is my next concern. Yep, this is him. But what the hell is it with this cluster? Going for a ride and seeing if I can spot them. There they are. One in the air, and the other one damaged from both me and the safe zone. This one must be sent to heaven first. I believe I have enough time to take care of him until the other one comes down from the sky. Boom! And the story ends there. Soldiers, my mission ends here. My second YouTube channel is now on. This channel will be dedicated exclusively for live streams only. Go ahead and press that follow button if you want to see some real action. The link is in the description. I was Narco, number one in the world for several seasons. Let me know if you have enjoyed my tips and tricks to bring you more. Cheers, mate.